Hi guys! So today I am going to show you how to brew your own kombucha at home. For those of you who are new to the wonderful world of kombucha, kombucha is a probiotic rich fermented tea. It can be very energizing and detoxifying to the body. It's rich in probiotics, enzymes, antioxidants, and it tastes really, really good. It's probably my favorite drink next to spring water. So in the first part of the video, I'm going to show you how to make the kombucha scoby, which is the culture starter that's going to ferment our tea. You can always buy a dehydrated scoby or get a scoby off a friend who already makes kombucha, but I thought I would just add it into the video for those of you who are interested. Um, it's really easy to make your own and it's kind of fun watching your little scoby grow up. So I'm going to get started and show you how I make the scoby and then how to brew the actual kombucha tea. So I hope you enjoy the video! First off, I'm going to show you how to make the scoby for our kombucha. The scoby is that creepy pancake looking culture that digests the sugars and produces the acids, enzymes, vitamins, and really begins the fermentation process. To begin making our scoby, you'll first need to bring one liter of water to boil. You can then brew three bags of organic black tea for however long you would brew a normal cup of tea. And once the tea's finished brewing, you can just discard the bags and add in one third of a cup of organic cane sugar and just stir that in till it's all dissolved. Now you just want to let the tea cool until it's about room temperature and then transfer it into a sterilized large wide mouth jar. And you want to make sure that the jar is really sterilized because you don't want any germs or bacteria growing in it. So I usually sanitize mine with some boiling water and vinegar. Now just add in one bottle of raw kombucha. And I'm sorry if you can't get raw kombucha, but in that case, you'll have to buy a dehydrated scoby. And then cover the jar with a breathable cloth. So I'm using a couple layers of unbleached cheesecloth because I find it works really well. And then secure with a rubber band. In a few weeks, you'll notice your scoby growing, and once it's about a quarter inch thick, you can use it to make your kombucha. So now that we have our scoby, we can begin making the actual kombucha. So it's quite similar to making the scoby. First, we're going to bring around three liters of water to boil and brew five to six organic black tea bags. Once it's finished brewing, we can remove the tea bags and add in one cup of organic cane sugar and just stir the tea until the sugar has completely dissolved. Now just turn off the stove and wait for the tea to cool down to room temperature. And it's really, really important that you let it cool down or else the heat can actually kill our little scoby. Once our tea's finished cooling, we can transfer it into a very well sterilized jar. Now with very clean hands, you can add our lovely little scoby into the jar and also one cup of our starter tea, which is that tea from the first batch of kombucha we made with this scoby. And now just cover the jar with a breathable cloth and secure with a rubber band. It should take around a week or two for the kombucha to ferment and get all bubbly, but trust me, it is worth the wait because nothing compares to homemade kombucha. So that's how you can brew your own kombucha. As you can see, it's really, really easy to do and it's quite inexpensive, especially compared to buying the pre-made kombucha at the store. It's it'll save you a lot of money. And I'll also mention once your kombucha is all fermented and fizzy and ready to drink, you can add in any sort of juice or flavorings you want. I like to add in some fresh ginger juice because it kind of makes it like a ginger ale. It's really fizzy and gingery, but you can basically add in whatever flavor you want. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like it. And yeah, 
Comment down below and tell me what your favorite flavor of kombucha is because I would love to know. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!